everybody, and Hello. welcome to another Vlogsgiving Day. We are on number 22. Oh my gosh. In case you're wondering, this outfit means one of two things. One, I'm naked. I'm kidding. Or am I? No, I'm not naked. I'm just not feeling well, which is what the other option is. But we're going to go ahead and go to the calendar and get this over with because we got a lot of fun stuff going on today i'm thankful for pizza might as well be a ninja turtle with how much pizza i eat papa john's is my go-to not sponsored however if they want to sponsor me i'm practically sponsoring them so i love pizza it's my favorite food it really is so onwards to the video all right, now that I'm settled in, and let me double check. I literally, because I've got just this tiny camera, I use my mirror to see the screen in the back. So, and thanks to the children, it's decorated with fingerprints again. Yeah. Mom life. Yeah, again. Yeah. Normally, I would be doing a full face of makeup and then presenting the try out item. But because I'm sick and kind of drippy in the face, thanks a lot, by the way. You're welcome. <laughs> because I'm all drippy in the face, I will not be. I will just be doing this part. What I find interesting is that, okay, the mirror won't stay. It is actually over there because I didn't want it to destroy this. But it comes with its own primer, eye primer. And then you've got these three sets and this whole booklet in this tin from Hard Candy. Not sponsored. Uh, this is the Look Pro Neutral Eyes because I've already got like a, a couple of smoky eye, eye makeup things and whatnot. I thought a nice neutral look would be good. This comes with three different look options that they offer, which is a daytime look, an evening look, and a drama look. And see, it gives you, like, pictorial representations of what you're supposed to do. I kind of appreciate that. And it's also in an Espanol, which I don't speak, like, at all. I apologize. I mean, I know a little bit. I know probably enough to find a bathroom. Or a restaurant. But that's it. Uh, so I'm going to be trying each of these. And in between I'll wipe my eyes off. Not my eyebrows though. They're staying. But <laughs> because it takes me 20 minutes to do this. And they're still not even. But I'm getting better every time. So this started out white with pink tip on the bristles. And it quickly got stained by using. And I was shocked by that. I thought that it would go back to white once I washed it. And I wash them between each use. I know that seems excessive, but I'm very particular about my cleanliness levels. I know it's hard to believe because behind me is probably a train wreck. And I'm kind of spiraling out of control emotionally, but I'm kind of, I'm, I'm going to focus. So that's what we're doing. We're going to focus. I'm going to start by doing the primer each time. There's actually quite a bit in here considering it only takes a little teeny tiny pinhead sized amount to cover your eyelid, it says. I mean, they show you practically smearing it on, but it's so dark. It's so dark? Yeah. Compared to my skin tone, it's actually quite dark. That's enough for two eyes right there. See, it's so dark. Dark? Uh-oh. See, it's a darker color. Oh. All right, everybody, I started out with the color tees here, and I swooped it across my eyelid, just under my brow bone, as you can see, according to how it wanted. Then I moved on to toying, which was a slightly darker, but still very brown color, and it wanted me to swoop upwards, so I did. And to be honest, it was kind of cute. Then I moved on to minx, which I kind of like these fun names. And that one wanted to go along the above my eyelash line. And so I did that. And see, I think I like the look. This was the daytime look. And I personally feel like it was very perfect for a day look. Then I wiped it all off because, you know, testing. Tim showed up and I while I was priming. Then we moved on to the evening look. And I started with Bashful, which is kind of an almost sparkly color for a base. As you can see, it does have some shimmer to it, but it's not overly bearing. Then we went on to Girly, and Girly was also a sparkly color, very shimmery, and it was pretty. Same shape as the previous. Then we moved on to uh, Philanderer, which is, oh, that's risque. And I swooped that a little bit up from my eyelash line, and it turned out I could have blended better, but it, I think that it made for a nice, natural-looking evening look. And off it goes. Now we moved on to the drama. Drama's very peaked. 
starts with chatty and chatty they wanted me to actually swoop it above my brow line and I was a little nervous about that because I got a big head but I went with it next was coy I blended that into the outer eye area the inner eye area and then I moved on to frisky which was a very matte darker that really brought out the orange in the koi if you ask me it made it more brownish and it kind of created this really nice like natural smoky eye and of course I have to be silly with it because I've got Brandon right there and he's making faces at me so I make faces back at him I would say that this palette's got pretty decent color coverage. I don't know how well it showed up on camera, but in person, they were actually quite pigmented. The last one, the last, very last shadow, is actually very sparkly. I didn't bother putting any like mascara or eyeliner on because I wanted this to be a test of the actual colors themselves, not the my additional stuff. So uh, all in all, I think I'll be investing in more of these tins from the Hard Candy collection. I would say this would definitely be a buy for me. So not ha unhappy. It was $8, I think, was the price of this tin. And it came with three completely different looks. And now I'm assuming that it'd be easy to mix and match. But I like the fact that it gave me somebody who's always messing up everything. Like, guides. And I was a little shocked at this one. The first one, Chatty, wanted it to be far <laughs> like above the brow bone. But it was like, okay, we'll do it. Okay, sure, why not? I So that's what we did. And I, I'm pretty proud of the look, so wearing it right now. So that's all I've got for you today. If you liked this video, give it a big yeah. thumbs up. Show me that you love me. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and to make that bell ring loud and proud so you can know when I post because I post all the time. Bye, see you, love you, always thinking of you. Have a really great day. Don't let anyone get you down. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle and do with passion or not at all.